If you can get one of these questions right on what is probably the hardest A-level topic, gene technologies, you might get a grade C. But if you can get all five correct, you might be on track for an A-star in A-level biology. So question one, what is the effect when you have either an addition or a deletion mutation in the DNA? So what is the term to describe that effect when you either have an addition or a deletion mutation in the DNA? The answer is a frame shift. Question two, how does increased methylation of DNA affect gene expression? So increased methylation of the DNA, how does that affect gene expression? Well, the answer for this one is, it prevents a transcriptional factor from binding to the promoter region of DNA. That prevents RNA polymerase from being stimulated and therefore transcription does not occur and gene expression doesn't happen. Question three, what is the difference between a tumor suppressor gene and an oncogene? So what is the difference between those two genes, tumor suppressor and oncogene? Well, a tumor suppressor gene produces proteins responsible for, for slowing down cell division, whereas oncogenes produce proteins which will stimulate and initiate the cell cycle to keep occurring. Question four, which enzyme produces cDNA or complementary DNA from mRNA? And our gene technologies here. And the answer is reverse transcriptase, which is also naturally occurring in viruses. And finally, question five. Why is it extremely unlikely for two individuals to have exactly the same genetic fingerprint? So why is it extremely unlikely that two individuals would have exactly the same banding positions in their genetic fingerprinting? And the answer is genetic fingerprinting is based on VNTRs or variable number tandem repeats in your DNA. And everyone has different numbers, different lengths of VNTRs. The only exception to that is identical twins. So how did you do on these questions? And if you've got any more specific topic requests, drop them in the comments for me.